Hi, I'm Akil Johnson. And if we have anything in common, it's probably the appreciation for good company and good conversation. That's why I'm so happy to introduce you to the daring community that is the Poet God Podcast. If content is king, community is queen. And my aim as the creator of this podcast is to make it one of the best you've ever seen and heard, of course. So without further ado, we welcome the podcast lover in you. dance on behind the brand we got to kill johnson talk about his podcast the poet god which i'm really excited about i haven't seen this man since college i haven't seen this man since college it's been a long time i think it was like 2005 my 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 the years have gone yeah. by it's about six years ever since i saw him and it's crazy because when i was talking to him like back in college i remember one time we had a good like two to three hour conversation with a good friend of ours uh, Raul Douglas <laughs> we were talking like way back then it was in Southern Connecticut easy and mm-hmm. we were just talking about just you know just trying to make it out of life we didn't know what we really wanted but we were just talking about that um, and we was just a whole bunch of empowerment and so I'm really happy just to have him here today and I think everything is really coming in full circle bitter sweet both fulfilling and incomplete, changed in ways we can't yet speak, thoughts of days we got a peek at each other. We recognized parts of ourselves in each other. At times I was happy to let them see even the most vulnerable parts of me Other times when I recoiled to a state of closure, I was saddened to have had to return. Because sometimes the cost of being open is being burned. Sometimes good times take a turn and it leaves you to question if what it cost was worth what you earned. Lately, that's been a painful exercise to discern. I've been thinking a lot about these dualities in which we must exist and how we govern ourselves around the ways in which they persist. When you told me that that you were doing this podcast, and I was like, let me just check out this little trash, right? <laughs> um, and I say that because when I've listened to a lot of independent podcasters, you can tell that there are some people who are smart. There are some people who have some of the stuff to say, but they're not well organized. The production quality is not that great. Mm-hmm. And sometimes even what they put out there is not well balanced. Like you, you, you take a viewpoint, right? And you put only yourself in it, mm-hmm. right? And expect that that's what the world is, is right? right. You know? And Instead of actually asking for other voices to help validate that or mm-hmm. help you grow by giving you differences, right? Right. Um, so in listening to the first couple of episodes um, and just listening to the interview style and just the, the the probing questions, I thought I was like, wow, people are actually talking about real stuff here. We started really defining what our marriage was to us as right. opposed to like, hey, you got a ring, so that means right. commit. you got someone. I've seen people with these... Uh, MacGuffins of marriage and love, right? That's what I'm gonna call it, right? You're like, you're like, like, oh, you got the ring, you got this, and they still dishonor it. You go to a bar and you just chill and you scope it. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, and before you know it, you look at your phone and you're, you're talking to like eight to ten different women. Mm-hmm. I date somebody and it's like I can tell, like, mm, I don't know when we're gonna break up, but I know why we're gonna break up. <laughs> Someone asked me if I were um, actually wanting to engage in sexual activity, and I said no, which was a lie because I was horny. I just didn't want to have sex with that person. You're in a public place. 
you meet up with somebody and someone else walks up and starts, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever they do while, while watching you. If I tell you, like, hey, nah, we good, go somewhere else, the consent to watch has been declined. You should go away because now you're a voyeur. Like, you know you're consciously leaving your windows open and at any given time, people could just stand there and look and watch at what you're doing. When you see people do something, I think a lot of times now, your reaction to it is like, they want me to watch. Mm -hmm. They're obviously doing this for that my attention. So great. You know? And so now your attitude is not like, I should feel bad for watching this. Mm -hmm. Your attitude is now like, entertain me. What do you got for me? Show me. Part of it is just the 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 frankness of the answers and the and the the forwardness of the questions, right? <laughs> because I think that sometimes when you interview people about topics, you, the tendency is to be polite, right? Right, but the polite doesn't get you very far, mm -hmm. right? And I think that that's one of the things that I felt listening to it is that I was actually not only able to relate to many things, but I was also learning at the same time. As far as what this journey holds. Who knows? I just want to continue to create the kind of content that grows and helps us as individuals and as a community become the kind of people we strive to be. To heal from our emotional trauma, to heal from our environmental trauma, mm -hmm. if you think it's not going to be a painful process, you are sadly mistaken. And when you are someone like yourself who is fearless enough to live that pain in front of a microphone um, or in front of a pen, you know, it really is a valuable thing. I appreciate your time with me. I hope you'll return for more of the same. My hope is to do something remarkable with this pain, to create something that exists on a higher plane all the ways in which this journey has changed me for the better, I hope. I struggle to name. You own your brand, and I want to commend you for taking that and being authentic and knowing that that is the direction in which your brand comes from and will stay. So thank you for that. And after what has flowed through me. Heal the podcast, but um, I think it suits you well. And I think um, it makes perfect sense. How could I ever be the same? Hey, three mess. What's going on? Love you. Bye bye.